All right, folks, I have got a forklift now. Um, so while we were trying to do this mission, we realized we needed planks and everything else, and we needed to dry this wood, and we didn't have a forklift. So we had to go and figure out how to get one. So uh, me and Mudden both went off on a adventure trying to figure out how to get this thing. And so now me and her both have a forklift, which is awesome because that's what we needed. I don't know why I cannot pick that up yet. Maybe I'm in the wrong angle. See if we can't get this one here. Aha! We did get this one. Okay. So we've got us a forklift now, and now we're able to do more with our wood material, which is awesome. That one there is still stuck out a little bit. It didn't fully go in there, but that's okay. Um, three in there right now. Let's see if I can get it from the other side. So, we are now going over to the next machine. Alright, let's put this one in here, and we will officially have four in this one. Okay, so getting ready to put some more in the other one. And then I'll be having to bring. Alright, I got six in there. Drying. 
Okay, I need to. Yeah, I like that car. I don't know what happened there, but that whole pallet, that whole pallet just slid. Oh man, it glitched. That didn't work there. Okay. Oh, I've got to rush those things to dry. Do what? Just now I gotta rush that stuff to dry. I feel like I'll get better at picking them up and moving them around when the time comes. You know what I mean? Yeah. More practice, because right now I'm not doing so good with a forklift. Not that I can say much. I really didn't do good with a forklift in real life. Really? <laughs> yeah. I could never, it was hard for me to see the judge through the, all the bars and stuff. You know what I mean? Now I could do a, the ones that, the order picker, things like that I could do, but the, the front front end forklift I could, I always had trouble with. Now how do we know when those things, I wonder, are, are fully dry? I mean, I wonder, will they like send us a message or does it, what does it do like? I have no idea. I need to go check my tomatoes. Well, I've got eight stacks grind so that ought to be truck wow, look at my tomatoes how come yours is growing my greenhouse they didn't really grow till I got my greenhouse done 
Well, I was asking because mine don't seem like it's doing squat. that don't mean nothing. I could be just doing something wrong and just not know it. I guess when it gets done, it'll turn a different color or something. I well, don't know. The wood. The honey. The honey. I mean, I don't know. I don't have honey yet, so I don't know. I don't know either. Yeah, I'm not fully sure yet how I'm supposed to, um, I don't know, it says humidity, but I don't know how that makes a difference. It says my roof is not fixed. Is that why my house, I fixed the roof of my house. How can you tell? How can I tell what? What you fixed and hadn't fixed. On the roof of my house? On any of it. I see it. Oh. And there's a very clear spot up here that shows I ain't got it fixed. And I don't understand why, because I did fix it. It's a whole patchwork right here. There it is. Farm builder. Yep, see, I hadn't fixed it. That was the one thing that was causing me not to get that one trophy. Yep. Well, I must have got it then, because I got You got trophy. it. I didn't. Yep. That's what happened. You received 10,000 social bonus points for, for fixing it. I'm up to 42,000. have grown they hadn't the earlier when I checked them oh wow I'm gonna water the bad boys do it I wonder if I need to open up the windows you know there's windows you can open up on these things right on the greenhouse do we need to open them from time to time I don't think so you don't want a regular greenhouse see it says open or activate and it's a window yeah I don't think so I didn't know if maybe if it needed some air, fresh air or something. All right, I'm gonna go pluck my. How long does it take for to, for the for the apples to grow back? I do not know. I've only got them that one time. So they've not grown back for you at all? No, not yet. They 
got to they've got to grow back. Surely you don't have to cut the tree down and plant apple trees every time you turn around. That'd be crazy. Cuz you wouldn't get much off of this like wood-wise, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Although I'll be honest with you, I'm finding a bunch of apples on these trees of mine since I put that scarecrow in. I mean, I'm finding four and five of them, six of them in some cases. Where the birds ain't getting them, you know? I cut two trees down, so. What, on your property? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. I'm cutting the apples off of the tree here because I was going to try to make some jam and stuff to sell a little bit, get a little bit more money. Now, wait a minute, it said you could do beehives. Okay, not right now. So that's 250 euro, and I don't have that right now. over here on this one too. Can boiled eggs.
Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that, Howie Junior 2000. Um, I really do appreciate that. I'm shooting for a, a hundred, a hundred followers, so that does help me out. I appreciate that so much. Thank you so much for that. <clears throat> um. Okay, let me see. I'm doing. What, uh, what else am I doing? Okay, I've got some stuff here I can sell. Some jam and stuff, but you know what? Can you put that? I bet you can. I was going to say, could you put that stuff down in the basement? Out of curiosity? And have like your pantry full, so to speak? You could. Move all of that. Yes, you can. You can move all of that uh, stuff that you your your milk and all of that stuff into your pantry, all the canned goods into your pantry. That is awesome. That is awesome. Uh, let me move that back out of there. Storing stuff in my pantry because I don't know. This game's got some things. I'm not sure. I don't know if I'm gonna have, ever have to worry about cold weather and cold snaps and stuff. Free. There's more apple trees. Well, I didn't know they were over here. They're on the other side of the, gar of the garden there. What? Oh well. Oh, no apples on it now. I just took them all. Oh, wait a minute. No, I didn't miss that one. Okay. Oh, I can go make some more apple jam. Some more apple jam. Try to keep a few apples on me so I can eat at all times. You know what I mean? Let's see. Basic recipes. There's 53 of them. So let's do. turned that light off didn't I oh yeah yeah I turned that light off So there's that. Alright. So. Let me see. Go back over to the mission one. Repair all the farm buildings. It'll reward me with 20,000. Okay. I don't know how much longer I need to wait on the um, on the um, I don't know how long I need to wait on the wood do you Ok, 
Okay. Wait a minute. I forgot I had this going. Let's turn that back off because I'm not sure what's what there. Okay, I'll have to have a scaffold to get up there, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so let me get my scaffold out. Oh, let's just sit right there. This game is so unique. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. What's that? And there's that. Okay, so that's taken care of. So let's just jump off the building. Okay, this whole fence line here needs to be fixed. Up tomorrow, but I have I've finished got the repair. to go sleep. The farm is looking much better now. You are such uh. a good lad. I cannot say how thankful we are. Here, take this. It's not much, but at least it's something. You've been a great help, lad. Of course, the big thing, it's the lumber mill that needs the because most care now. Dark Do you think you could repair quick. the lumber mill buildings? I'll tell you what. After <sighs> you've restored the lumber mill, I will let you use it for the rest of your stay. Cut your trees. Use the lumber mill to make your goods, and we will share the profit so you can sleepy. make some money. What do you think? So him needs to go rest. Uncle, you just got yourself a deal. Good to see you, lad. How are you? <laughs> Gotta go. Bye. Okay, folks, so what I'm doing is here, I'm literally repairing this farmhouse. This is where Auntie and them live, so I'm trying to repair it and get it in uh, tip-top shape for them. I don't think this one's messed up on the outside. What I do think is it's messed up on the, on the roof. So we're going to try to go up on the roof here and fix the roof of this. Um, because she needs it fixed. Because I found out that if my house ain't in tip top shape, if I decide to get married in the game, they won't live with me, they will stay with her. And so I need this house in order just in case something happens and I get married and they're not and I'm not prepared. I won't try to prepare myself though. I wanna make sure I'm I'm well equipped before I do something crazy. So I repaired their place, so now I've got to go down there. He's still saying I got to repair something, so I'm not sure what that is, but we're going to go find out. It 
saying there's something down here that is not right. Okay, well, evidently, it's not that that he's repairing. There's something over here that needs repairing. And it probably, they're probably talking about those machines. That's what I feel like they're going to talk about. not dry yet. So I'm not sure how long it takes for them to dry.
Alright, so we are now getting a few more trees up. Try to raise us up some more money.
Good to see you, lad. How are you? I need to ask you something. Sure. What do you want to know? How can I get more equipment? You could always buy new vehicles if you have cash. But if I were you, I'd go around and talk to people. I'm sure a lot of them have some old equipment they could spare. Tell me more about the lumber mill. The lumber mill is what you will need to build up your business. You cut the tree into logs as we did together. Then you transport them to the river so the logs float all the way down to the mill. Once they get there, the woodwork starts. First, the bark is stripped off. Bear logs can be sold as they are, but you don't earn much that way. The bark can be gathered and sold too, but you'll need a trailer for that. If you fix that sawmill next door, you can cut the logs into planks. These are more useful and fetch a better price. After you dry these planks, you can use them to work on buildings yourself. You will <coughs> save money that you can put to better use for building materials. You could sell chips too, but when the factory is finished, you'll be able to sell chipboards for more than you'd get for the chips. Besides, I always wanted to start making my own furniture, but never got around to it. But that would be something, you know? What about that old workshop? Well, you could buy fuel in bulk. It's cheaper that way. Then you could refuel your vehicles at the workshop there. Convenient, you know? With some skill, you'll be able to repair, repaint, and who knows, maybe even refurbish vehicles. This needs some skill. But hey, you may just acquire these skills over time, right? Do you have any advice for me as a mechanic? Time and skill, my lad. That's what it takes. You know how to repair buildings already, right? I am sure you will quickly learn how to rebuild them too. For rebuilding, you need new materials. But the end result will be worthwhile. You'll see. And on top of that, you'll learn how to repaint buildings for yourself or for other folks. These are very useful skills that will make you a real craftsman. Gotta go. Bye. Good to see you, lad. How are you? Hello, Uncle. You all right? Everything's fine, as always. Thank you. Gotta go. Bye. Well, that didn't help me none. Okay.
already here. I activated all of them. I just started it. Cut down all my logs. And... It's work. I'm telling you, it is work. This <laughs> game is very good as far as what it does. Yes. And I just found out earlier today you get married, you have at least you can have at least up to two kids. You have to have cradles for them. If you don't have cradles for them when they're a baby, they won't live with you. You have to have, um, let's see, what else was it? I told you. They had to have a certain bed you have to make. Night you games. can actually go into your house. You can actually remove all the furniture and later on be able to rebuild and decorate your house the way you want to. Like, everything is We've just. We've fixed them because they was all. Had eventually, you can take these planks that she's we're making. And you can go back over all these walls of these buildings and break them brand spanking new. And then eventually you can paint them because I just talked to Uncle and that's what he told me. I've got to figure out how to work. It's a better. job. Like, it took us forever to even get enough money to buy our forklifts. It is fun. It is, yeah, but it is fun. But it's meticulous. It's non-stop. Like real life, almost. Yeah. Okay, I should be back. I think you would like it. I really do. I think what I like about this game is the fact that it's the simulator and the it's the simulator for the lumberjack, but it's also a simulator for life because you can do both. I like that the best part about them, you know what I mean? Yeah. What kind of planks are them? The other ones were brown or this is white. Well, is I have birch? pine and I just cut a birch tree down, I think. I don't know, so. Go get the rest of my logs up. How do we know when these are getting dry? I mean, or will they just tell us? Uh, your guess is as good as mine. Okay. Well, I know when I looked at them a minute ago, it says they're still, it says they can only be used when they're dry, so evidently they must not be dry yet. At least mine wasn't. You know what I mean? Of course, my tomato plants have finally grown, so that's a good thing. Folks, so we actually bought a forklift in this episode. We actually bought a little bit before I started the episode, but we bought a forklift, and now we've been using this forklift so that we can actually uh, supply our dryer here with materials and wood because we're gonna need this stuff in order to build and work. So, um, yeah, that's I'm really loving this game. This is probably. So far, it's becoming one of my favorite, besides uh, House Flipper, which I do like House Flipper. Um, besides House Flipper, this is probably becoming one of my new favorite games. Of course, Minecraft is still way up on the top of the list, but this one here is... This one's making a hard run here. And it's hard for me to ever say that about a game. Yeah, I know. 
That's why I'm like, man, I don't know. I think what gets me about the game is that life aspect. And I don't care if it's got a story mode where you have to beat it and you can play it again. As long as you could replay it again, oh my gosh. Because you know every time you do it different because you would be... But if it's like most of the simulator games, eventually I'm gonna be we're going to be rolling in the dough, you know what I mean? And it'll be just more about making sure we keep everything going, you know? We'll almost hit that truck. The trailer was for the chip uh, chip or the bark machine, but I don't know how to get it working because it says they're not operational. I talked to Uncle and he said, go, make, go repair that stuff. Look how big these dang logs I just cut are. Mm-hmm. Uncle said to repair the rest of the, the lumber mill, but I can't repair these mechanical equipments. I don't know how I go about re repairing them. So I can get you said repair the rest of the lumber mill. Yeah, so it's not like the building that needs the repairment. It's the um, what's needing repair now is actually the um, that little. Remember the ones that looks like it got shoots sticking off of them. The little pipe work kind of reminds you like of a harvester right on the sides of the yeah, lumber mill. Yeah, yeah. Those two machines are not operational right yet. One's a chipper, and one is a bark machine. One of them will give you the bark that you can go and sell and make money off of. But you put it in your trailer. You know what I'm saying? The other one gives you chips. You can sell them too, or you can keep them, store them, and use them to make chipboard. Which gives you a higher price sale. So how do you repair that? I don't know. I've not figured that out yet. I went to talk to Uncle because when I, well, I went over there to see what was what, and when I went over there to Uncle, there it was. It showed up that I had that mission. And so, or it actually pulled me into a talk screen, so I didn't even get a chance to tell it no. It just literally pulled me into the to the screen itself. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean it's okay. I just now that what was up there to process the progress of that other one has disappeared off my screen, so I don't know. How, what the progress is on it, I don't, I don't know. <coughs> it's not there. But that's okay. All right, folks, I'm gonna call that the end of the stream. We're at that mark again. And uh, if you haven't already, make sure to find me on Facebook, the Holt Network, uh, and then of course on Twitter and YouTube as well. And uh, be sure to follow me here on Twitch. Do want to say thanks to the new follower here on Twitch. I appreciate it so much. It really does help out the channel. I hope that you enjoyed your stay. <coughs> we're shooting for a hundred here. Um, that's what we're shooting for. So uh, I'm just, you know, we're going to see what we can do. <coughs> my goodness, I got a tickle in my throat tonight. <coughs> but we're going to try that. Anyway, donations are welcome. Mm. At the bottom of your screen, you'll see the information there. Uh, and with that being said, folks, I will catch you all in the next one right here on Lumberjack Life. Lumberjack Crack. <coughs> catch you later.